everyone welcome to the part 3 of the video tutorial where we were developing a stopwatch timer app on the platform of thunkable in the part 1 and 2 we have uh, we started uh, we have designed the whole app and in the part 2 we have started with the blocking and we have just done with the reset button as shown here today we will be, we will be starting further on and if you have not seen the part 1 and part 2 of this uh, of this video so i recommend you to check those video first because there is a relation between both of the videos so let's begin with the part 3 so in part 2 we have done with the reset button as shown and we have started with the start button and i was not able to explain this uh, because of the time limit so we what we have done is from here we have taken out the start button if when clicked then we have from here timer 1 we have chosen set timer 1 uh, enable to true and then we have made it duplicate like this we you can make also we have made duplicates of it uh, five times and then we have then make it visible to uh, stop button visible to true start button visible to false reset button visible to false lab button visible to true and lab button disabled to false today we will be starting further on with the lab button so when lab button clicked let's move a little bit up we, we will go to the list and from there we will drag the we will drag this one out in list insert at and we will change this last to first and then in the variables role we will go and take this out and stick it here app variable list of labs and then we will go to the text take this out the joining part and then we need four here i need four okay that's enough and then instead of lab uh, hello we will be writing lab and instead of world we will be adding full stop like this and this will be in the third one then go to the variable app variable lab app variable lab and then we will go to the time label here it is time label uh, time label text this will be added here and then we will go to the list view, viewer here it is and we will take the text items one and then we will go to the again we will go to the app variable list of labs take this here again go to it change we will take this one change app variable to one so this is done with the lap button let's go to the stop one stop button so when stop button is clicked now from the start button we will make a duplicate of it and stick it here we will take a duplicate of stop button we will take let me just drag it a little bit up start button we will not take the reset one and we will take the lab button okay now this timer one enable should be false stop button visible should be false and rest should be uh, uh, rest should be true this should be true and this lab button should be on disabled mode should be true and then we will go to the control if do okay now till here what i have done is we saw that set lab button disable to true then from the list uh, no not from the list but from the logic we have dragged this out and then here we have clicked on it was equal to we have to make it not equal to then it should be zero app variable countdown if not equal to zero then what it will do is set reset button 
should be visible it should be visible but lab button should not be visible this is what we have done uh, till now next the another thing left is the uh, I, th uh, I think it's left where uh, we have left with the stopwatch now let's work with the screen stopwatch screen so when stopwatch screen starts set app variable countdown now we have to copy this two times one two and then text it here here instead of counter it should be milliseconds and here it should be uh, only lap and then let's copy it mm -hmm. make a duplicate of it and set it here again make a duplicate and set it here again make a duplicate but this time uh, here it should be written one app variable lab to be one then from the time label take this one out set time label text to go to this join and then here it will be written as s we will be writing s that is second and here we'll take it out and we have taken the app variable countdown this completes the stopwatch screen also now the last one is the timer one uh, fires now by this time what i have only does is from the variable i have taken this change app variable app and changed into countdown and by one and then i have taken the time from the time label set text to and from the text we have taken the join one then now we will go to the math and we will take this one out and paste it here round and instead of round it here will be round down and then we will again go to this and we will take the divided one this now what i have done is from the round down again going to the maths take the divided one and then from the variable i have taken the app variable countdown divided by uh, 60 and then here here it was written world but i changed it into colons then we will take one more item here from the control take this one out A, uh, ten. from the test go to the logic then from the control we have taken test if true if false and then go to the logic take this one out if greater one and then we have just pasted uh, then what we have done is from the math we will take this one out remainder of and from the remainder of we will take this app variable countdown we will make a duplicate and paste it here divided by 60 greater than uh, uh, 60 is greater than 10 then from the text we have taken join and join uh, we have two uh, two columns here so number one is zero it will remain zero and number two will what we have done is from here we have just uh, make uh, copied this and paste it here next if false what if it is false then remainder should be app variable countdown divided by 60 and this is how our app will be counting so this completes our blocking as well as the app so we are all done now let's live test our app so here is the app see the animation is working world clock it is telling the time and the date this is the navigators this is the home screen this is the about screen let's go here this is the next screen so let's check how it works let's start it one two three wow it really worked so we have completed our task let's lap it also here are the laps you can change its color so it appears you can see the list we have taken the uh, now let's stop it and the reset button will come so this completes our task as well as our app if you like this video please like this video and do subscribe our channel thank you